Hi all, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a quick stitch tutorial to tie into my How To Sew A Plushy Sew Along series. Over the next few weeks I'll be uploading videos giving step by step instructions to sew your own stuff plushy. I'm just getting the items together that we'll need for this stitch tutorial today. Um, some of the things that we've got here is you've got snips, normal cotton, embroidery cotton, um, a pin cushion with hand sewing needles. I've got obviously two different colours of felt so that you can see how the blanket stitch works. We've got something that I find invaluable, a needle threader. Something else that I find invaluable, <laughs> glasses. If you want to join in with the series, there's a link in the description box below. Subscribe to my channel and hit the little bell to be notified each time I upload a video. Today's video is about blanket stitch, so let's get right into it. Now blanket stitch is one of those really useful stitches. It's both decorative and functional. And the reason why it's called blanket stitch is it's because it's usually the, the stitch that you see on the edge of blankets. Um, it usually goes around the edge to stop the blanket from fraying. And it's really easy to do. You can either do it with embroidery cotton or you can do it with just normal cotton. Now what I'm going to do obviously is I'm going to double this cotton up so that you can see it a little bit better because obviously I'm filming it so things are a little bit trickier to see. So I'm just going to get a little bit of cotton and you're going to need your hand sewing needle. So let's just thread the needle for a minute. As always, it doesn't matter how you do this, whether you tie a knot in the end of your thread or if you cast on the way I cast on, which basically what you do is you put the needle through the slightest bit of fabric, like so, and you just pull it through until you've got just a little bit left sticking out, going through the same bit of fabric Again, just the slightest amount that what we're aiming for is to not get the thread coming through on the other side. And then you push it through until you get a little loop like that. And then you just put your needle whoops, through that loop like so. And then just pull and that forms the little knot in the fabric for you and as you can see it's barely noticeable on the other side. Now what you want to do is, hang on, trying to work out how best you can see this. There's two ways of actually doing blanket stitch. You can either work from this side this way or you can go from this side that way. Now when I was at school my teacher was forever telling me off for stitching the way she said was backwards because I always go from here that way. So. What we're going to do is we're going to come through onto the front of the fabric from, from this middle bit here so that we've got the thread on the front. Okay, And then what we're going to do is we're going to bring the needle around to the back of the fabric and come up as close to that hole on the front as we possibly can and then just pull the thread through. Now we're going to stop when we get this handy little loop. And what you're going to do now is put your needle up through the loop and just pull and you've got your first stitch. Now what we're going to do for the next one is keeping in line with that first stitch so that they're nice and level we're going to come up from the back to the front of the fabric until We've got a nice loop and then once again we're going to go through the loop with a needle and then just pull and then straighten it out a little bit. Okay, and you keep doing that for as long as you want to do the blanket stitch. The handy little tip is if you keep this thread in your left hand or right hand depending which direction you're going, keep it over where you want the stitches to go, then when you come through from the back, oops, level with your last stitch, it keeps the thread in the right spot for you and it just helps you keep them nice and even. Back through the loop, 
and just pull. And what you see it's doing is it's just putting the thread across the top of the fabric and that's what stops fabric from fray fraying in blankets and that's that kind of thing. I'll just do it again for you. Hold the thread over here the way you're going. Come up through from the back of the fabric. Whoops, try and get as close as possible to the same length as the stitch before. It doesn't matter if you can't do that straight away because it does take a little bit of practice. Get your loop, put your needle through your loop and pull. And that's all there is to blanket stitch. Okay, so that's blanket stitch when you're looking at the edge of um, a fabric or if you're joining two bits of fabric together. Let's take a look now at how you do blanket stitch for a plique. Now what I've got here is I've got a piece of fabric, in this case it's felt, with a little bit of fabric but I'd like to stick to it as part of a design. Um, now what I'm going to use in this particular instance is embroidery cotton. This usually comes on a skein of thread and it's it's actually a thread that you don't have to use the full thickness of, you can actually split it. It comes in six strands, so you can use as many of those strands as you like. You can either use one, two, three, it's up to you. It depends on how thick you want your finished stitches to be. In this particular um, tutorial, I'm just interested in using um, just the two strands. So I'm just gonna split that by just pulling it apart. If it starts to bunch up, just let it spin back and then just go again. Now the next thing that you're going to need is you're going to need a hand sewn needle that's small enough to allow you to do tight turns and small stitches. Now this is the smallest one that I've got and if I just put this next to a normal sized needle for a moment so you can see the difference. Oops, there you go. Now obviously the actual size of the needle you use will be determined by the thickness of the thread that you're trying to get into it. Now I'm going to use the two threads of the two strands, sorry, of the embroidery thread and to thread this needle because the the eye in it is so incredibly small, I'm going to be using the needle threader. I'll pop that through there and then just pop the thread through the threader and pull. And there you go. Now, the difference between blanket stitch for applique and the blanket stitch we've done previously is you can literally cast on your thread on the front of the fabric. If you just move that piece out of the way for a moment, we're going to cast on in exactly the same way push the needle through a little bit of the fabric, pull until it's nearly all the way through and you've just got that little tail left, go back through the same bit of the fabric, until you get that loop, put your needle through the loop and then just pull it into a knot and that's um, cast on for you and it doesn't matter with a plique if it comes through onto the other side because obviously that's going to be inside your project so you're not going to see it anyway. Okay now if we bring the shape back for a moment now you can hold the shape of your plique down by either using fabric glue, fusible web or you could even stick a pin through it just to hold it. Um, this isn't really a project this is just a demonstration so I'm just literally going to hold it with my, my fingers like that. Now the difference to, the ha to how you actually perform the blanket stitch is you go back in to the fabric that's underneath, just behind the item that you want to sew to it, come up through the top fabric or the top felt and pull. And when you've got that little loop you put your needle through it just as you had on the previous example and just pull like that and then you do it again. We don't go through to the back of the fabric, we're literally going to the back of the applique, lifting a bit of the back fabric, coming through the front, pulling till we get a loop, putting the needle through the loop, 
and just pulling it through. Okay, I'm going to just do that again. Again with this um, demonstration, if you keep the thread facing in the direction that you're going and out of the way, it helps you get your stitches through. Try and get them all the same length as we did previously. Um, I'm not too worried about it on this particular um, example because as I say it's just demonstration purposes. I'll do that one again. Keep your thread over there, go up through the back, come up through the front of the applique, pull until you get a loop, thread your needle through the loop and there's the stitch formed. Let's just do that again for you. Keep the loop thread over there, go up through the back, in through the front, pull till you get the loop, through the loop and down. And then you just pull it until it lies flat. And all you do is you just keep working around your shape until you've um, gone completely round it and you'll notice that what it's doing is it's leaving a nice little decorative edge a right um, right round the edge of your applique. Now as I say you can use as many uh, strands of thread as you like. Um, you might have to go up to a different size needle if you go too thick because obviously that hole will only accept so much thread. We're done. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I'll put a link to the other sew along videos in the description box below. If you've got any questions just ask me in the comments. If you like the video give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and hit that little bell to be notified every time I upload a video so that you don't miss out on anything. And whatever you're sewing, wherever you're sewing, enjoy your creativity and have fun. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.